to improve its ability to patrol the vast maritime domain of the Philippines, including its exclusive economic zone, the Philippine Navy has embarked on the acquisition of a new class of anti-submarine warfare-capable guided missile corvettes. Project approved budget for contract is 28 billion pesos for two ships including the munitions, this will be acquired via government-to-government -government procurement, and to be paid via multi-year obligatory allocations. Here are the desired general technical requirements Philippine Navy 1 to its guided missile corvettes. Specification. Minimum length of 80 meters, no limit on maximum length. A draft of equal or greater than 4 meters. A maximum of speed of at least 25 knots at 80% maximum continuous rating. Endurance of at least 20 days, and operating range of at least 4,000 nautical miles. Displacement of between 2,000 to 2,500 tons. Helicopter landing deck capacity of at least 10 tons capacity. A hangar for at least one 10-ton helicopter. A minimum complement of 80 officers and sailors. Having unrestricted ship and subsystem operability at sea state 6. Includes two 7-meter rigid hull inflatable boat for ship boarding. Low radar cross-section, low infrared design. Low underwater radiated noise and low magnetic design. Includes a nuclear, biological and chemical warfare citadel. Tier 3 diesel engine rating. Sensors fit. Two navigational, X and S band, radars, 3D air slash surface ESA radar with identification friend or foe. A fire control radar. An electro-optical targeting system. Hull mounted sonar. Towed array sonar system. Incorporating tactical data links 16 and 22, which are PN supplied. Naval communications electronic support measures. Naval radar electronic support measures. Tactical air navigation, TACAN, satellite communications, long range acoustic device, combat systems, combat management system with tactical data link, integrated platform management system, integrated bridge control system, integrated communication system, unmanned aerial vehicle component, chaffs and decoys, weapon systems, 176mm super rapid gun, two quadruple anti ship missile launchers. One close in weapon system, at least one by 30 mm secondary gun, two triple torpedo launchers, at least one eight cell vertical launching system. During the early stage of the project, five shipbuilders showed serious interest, and these are Hyundai Heavy Industries, with the derivative of the HDF 2600, Jose Rizal class design, Daman, with the Sigma family, with offers ranging from the Sigma 9813. 9814 and 10514 designs naval group with the go wind class corvette design go a shipyard with a derivative of their saryu class offshore patrol vessel turkish ministry of defense with a derivative of the ada class corvette however naval group and daman were said to have lost interests in the project for confidential reasons this made hyundai heavy industries offers to be one of the leading one later on it was confirmed that HHI's offer was the most favored for a number of reasons both legal and, as per Max Defense Philippine sources mentioned, obvious extra-legal reasons that is related to how the Philippine Navy and DND ended up on dealing with HHI for the Jose Rizal class frigates in 2016-2017. HHI's latest offer was considered unsolicited, as it was not tailor-fitted based on the Philippine Navy's posted requirements. Instead, it was a combined offer by HHI with backing from the South Korean government that not only covers the construction of the corvettes and the subsystems in it, but also other issues like defense cooperation, excess defense article, financing, and other matters that may include political reasons. During the joint command conference in Malacanang last May 7, 2019, Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana submitted for the DND's project approval proposal and recommendation based on HHI's unsolicited offer which means that it was already evaluated and selected by both the PN and DND beforehand. President Duterte gave the green light to proceed with the Corvette acquisition project based on HHI's unsolicited offer, which means the DND and PN were given the free hand to finalize negotiations with HHI and the South Korean government. However, last July 11, 2020, Secretary Delphin Lorenzana announced that Corvette acquisition plan will be moved to revised AFP modernization program Horizon 3 after Philippine economy recovers from COVID-19 pandemic.